Today, we need to talk about Jimin getting annoyed and frustrated in a clip that resurfaced. We also have rumors of Jimin's military service and when that will be. And then we have to talk about Hive's stock changing and what the theories are there. So hey, dumplings, is Dave Desai, hater or not? Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, it's he spilling mug merch, and let's go. BTS and BTS members are big contributors to the Hive stock because they are owners, but also they can cause the stock itself to fluctuate depending on their activity. And not only that, the concern over if BTS members should enlist also has partly affected the stock. It was alleged and reported that BTS contributes 1% of the South Korean economy, and that's a lot. If you think about how many companies, businesses, and just regular people there are in South Korea, there's millions. So this is a big accomplishment from just seven little old boys. When all the BTS members went solo, there was a concern if BTS would have the same impact as they had as a group as they do individually. There's a lot of people who were scared, and it seemingly actually turned out okay. There was a rumor that when HYBE announced the collaboration between a Jimin and Taeyang for Vibe that the Hype stock had increased. People went ahead and looked at the stock for YG, Taeyang's label, and they realized that the stock also went up around that same time. Of course, just looking at these two companies, it can appear like there is a direct correlation between the song announcement and then suddenly people investing more into the two labels. However, that's not exactly the truth because it seemed something else happened in Korea around that time. Stock tends to fluctuate a lot depending on the market and depending on many, many things. It's really hard to determine one specific thing unless you look at just one company. But there are many occasions in which almost every company on the market would have a similar pattern, which could be a case of something happening within the country that day, especially if other stocks are affected. It's also not every company that has a similar stock situation. So it's not a holiday or anything. So if you know if there is anything that happened that day, let me know. But anyway, people noticed that it wasn't just Hive and YG that had some sort of surge in their stock, but LG, their household healthcare branch company, also had a similar trend on that day to Hive and YG. Of course, LG and especially their household branch would not in any way have any correlation with whatever BTS is doing. Like if BTS releases a song, that won't affect LG sales, stock, or anything. And there probably were others that had a similar thing as well. Of course, I love Jimin and Taeyang and want them to succeed, but it's seems like this is just normal market changes. It has nothing to do with the song. If you look at the day Vibe was released and when the music video came out, January 13th, we actually don't have any significant changes for either YG or Hive. A lot of fans like to try to make it appear like the members are bigger than they are or have a bigger impact than they do, and the guys have a big impact. But when the data is fairly easy to disprove, becomes the focal point of an argument to say that so-and-so member is better or has bigger impact, anyone who understands the market lives in Korea or just simply is into stock can look at this and think that the fandom likes to make stuff up. And there could definitely be a small correlation, but it's not enough to have it as evidence in this case. When BTS announced hiatus and the stock allegedly dropped, that can be used in argument to talk about BTS's impact because that was significant down to the minute. But Jimin has been talked about a lot recently. People have been taking fun moments and reposting them. So what happened? A long time ago, BTS used to appear in Korean variety shows. There's rumors and theories that BTS stopped appearing for a long time due to the mistreatment these shows would give to an artist from a small no-name label at the time. BTS since then has appeared on Korean variety shows because no one would dare mistreat them now. But back then, BTS had a show on Mnet and they basically ran around and just did fun things, similar to what BTS's own reality show Run BTS is kind of like. The show is called American Hustle Life and the boys flew to LA and got coached by hip hop teachers, but also just did a bunch of random things. I love watching reality show moments and sometimes older moments. I do react to a lot of these reality shows on Patreon. I haven't done American Hustle Life, but I'd love to. We currently have a $1 tier that has limited spots and I love to see you there. As always, we have a good time and laugh a lot. There was a moment where Jimin was supposed to clean and scrub this plane. It seemed like he was doing an okay job, but then this 14 year old boy comes over and starts nagging Jimin on what to do and how to clean the plane. Jimin is a bit older than 14 and a lot of Asian families are no stranger to cleaning, chores, or
for hard work. So I doubt Jimin was cleaning the plane so terribly. The boy was nagging Jimin about getting closer into the plane and for him to scrub really hard. The fandom was very upset when they saw this boy say all this as they felt like he was having a bit of a power trip. The boy allegedly came out more recently and talked about how he knows that armies are upset but he holds no resentment to army and also that he was very much younger at the time and probably immature. The boy posted his response on TikTok to talk about everything and addressed all of ARMY's concerns as he is now much older. That and also reality shows are fake. They are scripted and the boy going over there to nag adds a bit of drama to the story. Who knows if the producer pushed the boy to say something to add spice. But it wasn't ARMY who just thought this boy was annoying but apparently Jimin also did at the time saying that he dreaded when the boy came over and that Jimin wanted to hit the boy after he's done cleaning the plane. Jimin was saying how he was getting annoyed at this boy and basically was about to be done with this. I think it's one thing to be bossed around by an adult who may also be working and doing things but to be bossed around by a 14 year old boy I think that's more a hit to the ego more than anything else. So Jimin was about to toss in the towel and throw some punches. I wonder if this boy went to meet Jimin now if Jimin would remember him and if Jimin would have anything to say to him. I think there should be a meet and greet arrangement there and it would be so funny. I don't think Jimin would actually throw hands but I think Jimin would have a good laugh seeing him again. And obviously now the power dynamic has shifted. But it may be a while before this boy would even have the opportunity to ever see Jimin at a fan meet or concert. And maybe even be a while for us to see Jimin too. As it's believed that Jimin will have his military service very soon and maybe right after his album release. If you are not aware, it was reported that Jimin will be releasing his album in February. So very soon here. And we're all obviously excited. After a recent appearance with Dior, the conversation of when Jimin will go to the military started to resurface. This is not uncommon per se because every time BTS attended the Grammys or did any big performances, news of the military would come out. Armies were upset because it was a bit of a buzzkill and then others took it as a way to diminish their accomplishments, which I don't understand that argument. Because them needing to go to the service is just something that needs to happen. And when the whole world is talking about BTS or a specific member, naturally the conversation of what is next for them is going to come up. And if the next thing is military, people want to know about it. So of course news is going to report on that. After the release of the album, it is likely that Jimin will do a bit of promo and probably enlist. There wouldn't necessarily be a reason for him to stick around and not do anything. While J-Hope's birthday is coming up and he is believed to be next, Jimin should follow right after. HYBE and BTS had announced a comeback by 2025 and we don't entirely know if they hope to have said comeback in early 2025 or late 2025. If it's late 2025, then Jimin has until June 2024 to enlist so Jimin can be back by December 2025. The number 2025 was talked about, leaked, posted, whatever you want to say by staff and that is the number everyone is going by to see BTS as 7 again. But if Jimin is done with his album by June of 2023 including promo and all that then as I said there's no reason for him to stick around and just sit there. He might just go ahead and enlist. So there are theories that Jimin will enlist very very soon as I think we were expecting all the older members to go and do their album first and then the younger members will go later. But we have yet to see Sugar solo album so the members might likely not go in order. Not just with the album releases but with enlisting. There's a big chance that Jungkook could go enlist last like everyone expects but also there's a big chance that he would make an album right after Jimin and then enlist right after that. We don't know. But I'm happy to see if Jimin is happy to go or if he's upset to go. And I'm curious to see how everyone else feels about Jimin possibly enlisting very soon and getting to see Jin soon. But what do you think? How do you feel about Jimin getting frustrated with this 14 year old boy and Jimin being like I can't do this. What do you think about Jimin's enlisting or possibly enlisting right after the album? And then we have to talk about the hype stock and do you think the release of Vibe had any effect on it? Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.